Hi everybody, this is Jane and Gina from UltimateHairBows.com. Today our whole family is in, well actually this whole week, we're in South Haven, Michigan on the east side of Lake Michigan. <clears throat> we absolutely love vacationing here. You can see Lake Michigan in the background. If you want more information, email us. We'll tell you about the town, give you some numbers if you want. Great place for family. We also decided to, while we're on vacation, to show you some fun things to do with ribbons and such for, for beach vacation or just for hot weather. And today we're going to do something called ribbon flip-flops. The other day we did water balloon flip-flops. So these, are, these are ribbon. They're so cute for any age, including adults. They're just darling. Um, they are... What were you going to, what that, was I They are machine washable, probably okay. put them in some type of linen bag. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing is, is, if you do, you may have to use your pinking shears again to give yourself a nice new edge. But, but they you are could. washable. Yeah, you, you can. If okay. need be. All right. All right. To create these little ribbon flip-flops, it's so easy. But what you'll need is you need a variety of ribbon, and it doesn't matter. Again, you can do patterns, or you can kind of think about where you are and see what kind of matches. If your little girl's on a dance team, you can use their dance colors, whatever. It's, ideas are limitless. You'll also need a pair of scissors and a pair of pinking shears, which you can pick up pretty much at any store if you don't already have them. Um, you can also make sure you use your coupons to get them at, on sale. Do those 40% coupons, yes. So what you do is you just tie, again, just tie a knot starting at the very bottom, and I've already started one here. And I've got a pattern going. What you need is about 13 inches of ribbon, depending on the size. The thicker the ribbon, the more you're going to need. So you basically just slide it under the flip-flop, pull it up, matching your ends, and just tie a knot. Be careful not to squeeze this uh, plastic piece in two. And then, again, just tie a basic knot. A plain old knot. Plain old knot. <laughs> and you can twist these to go down a little bit, or you can leave them just wherever. And just let it go for now. And then you pick up your next color, and you slide it in. And again, tie your knots. And with these, because you are tying a knot, you do want to kind of make sure it's already pushed down so that they are butting against each other. Because they don't move so easily on this plastic. Correct. And then you just keep going. And mine are way too long, but that's for demonstration purposes. So you just keep going and tying your knots. And she has some corker ribbons here yeah, too. Yes, and you can, can mix your ribbons. Oops. You can mix your ribbons, you can <clears throat> mix your styles, your textures. This is a great way if you have rickrack or anything like that. That's a perfect way to do it. And then I'm going to tie one more thin one here. And again, push everything down. And just tie your knots. And here, I'll tie one where it should be a little shorter. And then after you've pushed it down, you can use anything you've got here. So I'm, you would continue till you get to the middle and then continue on to the side so that when you were finished, you would end up with your flip-flop totally covered, totally covered in ribbon. The final stage to this is to use your pinking shears and to cut your ribbon to the length that you want. One thing you do have to be careful of is when you are cutting these, you want to make sure that the ribbon doesn't drag past the shoe, because otherwise your ribbon will get dirty from dragging on the ground. Oh yeah. So you would just cut these all around so that you would have the size that you want. And by using pinking shears, you're going to help it keep from uh, getting those little threads at the end. If you wanted to, you could heat seal the ends and not use the pinking shears. That would be your choice. Or could, couldn't you heat seal and use the pinking? Well, once you use the pinking shears, you're going to cut some of that um, you heat, heat seal sealing now, though, off. You well, heat seal now. it'd be difficult having okay. to get into all these little ridges. Oh, all right. But when you're totally finished, 
you'll end up with a very cute pair of flip-flops. Isn't that cute? And this takes less time to do than the, uh, the water balloon, balloon ones, ones yes. but so cute. Everybody will love them.